one's English, the other are foreign. It's the noble Eastern art of eviscerating your opponent with a kidney punch while you're both wearing swimming trunks. MMA. It's a combination of skills, guts, wit, and a psychotic okay. desire to give someone brain damage. Mixed martial arts, mixing kung fu, moronic wrestling, blood loss, and Lucky miss. high-end restaurant. The outbreak of violence continues. The Santos River turned into tragedy as a shootout between rival gangs overran it. MC Cliff, real name Curtis Cray, turned his back on the gangster life three years ago to embrace narcissistic consumption. Unfortunately, Mr. Cliff is dead. I'm here talking to a distraught MC Cliff. Oh, it's so give me the sad Walking alone from Polito Cove to Raton Canyon. They left home last Sunday and haven't been Whoa. heard or seen since. Police don't have any leads, so are asking for increased pension benefits. This salad cost $10,000, and it was worth every penny. That's what one well-heeled diner said after finishing the most expensive salad in the city. A gourmet entree invented by celebrity chef Michael Lee Room, who recently shot to fame on several celebrity cooking shows. He claims to toil for hours over each salad using locally sourced wild mosses and organically unsustainable fish flown at obscene distance. Diesel News, confirming your prejudices. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. Just said the same fucking thing to my wife. See his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. Oh, no, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Uh -huh. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top band, good price, VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. 
So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. Who's you know? A good time? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. That would make it very difficult. That would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo -hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking stores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills me. Hey! Kills my family or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor me- Watch it! Oh, you screwed up my car! Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. This is bullshit. This place, Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't want to silence him, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. All right, got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. You're in the sausage factory, all right. Make some sausage. Not the water board. No. Don't do it! Please don't. Oh, oh, don't do it! It shouldn't be legal. He's wet, all right. Let up. We're gonna get him up. I can't breathe. <laughs> Like it never happened. I wish it never happened. <coughs> Mr. 
Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, the right end of the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. But what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. Look out! No more car accidents. One more eyes on that town than they need to Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute... Damn it. He thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks, Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... Well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck? How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to Loosen him know. up! No, please. Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. I'm scared of drowning. It's torture. Don't do it. Not the water. Oh, oh. Don't do it. No. Let <laughs> Enough! Dry him off! Yep, he comes! That was torture! <laughs> it was all a dream. It's a nightmare! Hey, 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 hey! Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, 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 talk. this guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle no, build, whatever. He's dark, so okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. <laughs> that enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. 
We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Ah! Oh, Sorry, too oh, late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. Oh, okay. I remember, I remember. Woo! This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. Not the water world. It shouldn't be legal. It's torture. Ow! Don't do it. Not the water. Don't do it. Stop it! It's done the trick. Let's get him upright. I'm alive! <coughs> the government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no, no. Please, no, no, no. 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 He's got beer. Oh, he's got beer. He's got bushy beer. Uh-huh. No. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? No, the bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a... he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Jim. maybe one more time. Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. I would panic. My heart. No. Please, don't. No. It shouldn't be legal. It's torture! A wound! A wound! Always by the book. That's my time. He's wet, all right. Let up. We're gonna get him up. I can't breathe. <laughs> Today's lesson? It's about government regulation. There is no lesson! <laughs> Mr. K. Uh, I, 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 Mr. I K. Please. Oh, okay. He, he chain smokes. He, he's left handed. What's that? He, he chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes. Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. We don't even have an ID. Why are you shooting before we have an ID? You... Oh, fuck. You get kicks out of killing innocent women now. The report I'm gonna have to write. Steve, he fucked it. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's deep. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. 
Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. Let's go, come on. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Come on. Just torture me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. to catch okay let's get you to the airport oh safety first how you feeling i need to get to the hospital nah you're fine i can assure you i am not no one likes a cry baby you look great let me see the mirror I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? And why are you helping me? I told you. Don't like being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Now who you work for? IAA? The IAA want you dead as well. Don't don't you remember? The Marshal? Global Poo Who? Global Poo? Did you say Global Poo? I work for the forces of sanity. Sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. What do you mean? You've got a message. You are a message, yeah? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture? That's my bag. But there are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. They think it'll get them somewhere. We gotta call bullshit on that. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Me. Run! You're free! What, my family's here? Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really, now let's go. Fuck off! Come on. Then everybody stop boo-hooing and boo-hooing and boo-hooing, right? We are useless. Who are you? You are the listeners. No, the public. The damn public. This is public radio, right? If I set you up, you got you got to hit the ball. If I underhand it to you, you got to hit the ball, Cheryl. You didn't hit the ball. I'm going to underhand it to you again. Now, yeah. who's out there, Cheryl? The public. The public out there. We're not public radio. We don't do pledge drives. We play commercials, Ray. It's you're crazy. Cheryl, don't ever correct one of these. Don't you ever correct my knowledge of what public radio is. I'm on public radio every day, cleansing people, cleansing their soul, taking them on journeys. And I'm not going to let you tell me this flight is full. I'm not going to do it, Cheryl. I'm not going to let you offer me $300 to get on the next available flight. I'm not going do it, Cheryl. You know why? Because I want to fly today. It ain't going to happen, Cheryl. Not in front of my public, and not in front of my listeners, and not in front of those people out there who I'm cleansing through their ass. 
It's not gonna happen. You really, you are a Whoa. bully, Ray. Look here, this, this be strong, okay? I'm sorry I went there, but sometimes I gotta go there to get there. You understand what I'm saying? I gotta go out there. This is how it works, Cheryl. Let me explain to you how it works in front of everybody, okay. in front of all my listeners. Okay. I gotta go through these airways, uh -huh. out to the people, touch the people, through their ears, uh -huh. into their ears, into their brain, yes. down, their, down their system, their nervous system, into their chest, to the, the help their heart beat, down to their bowels. Right? To stir things up. You understand? Know That's a cleanser. That's a damn cleanser. They sit on that toilet bowl, side saddle, and put one elbow on that flusher. You understand? Because everything's coming out. You know what? I'm oh. getting Lionel back. Lionel was a damn good producer. Who's on the line? Please tell me it's Lionel. Lionel, you calling for your job, Ray? Lionel! Ray, I love the vibe, but it's mostly bullshit. What the hell? We are raising awareness around here. Awareness, you dumbass fool. That's all it takes, and pretty soon, shit has changed. Because people don't even realize they're being aware because you're getting awareness, and you don't know you got awareness until you get the damn awareness. Don't you tell me what I'm doing here. And we have done it all by holding a protest sign and wearing tie-dyes and smoking cheap. That's not actually doing anything, is it? What are you talking about? The first three letters in Raising Awareness are R-A-Y. Raising Awareness. Bumper stickers create change. People see that shit and think while they're driving. The text on that bumper sticker is speaking to me right now. At a red light, driving 55 down to 35, right? I'm going to visualize world peace. I'm going to go home and mm, I don't care if my woman leaves me.
inside that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. I'm here. Oh, it's just down the road, Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. 
If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. No, I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. You can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. <laughs> 